You know what's overwhelming? Trying to find a book to read. There's so many. How do you decide which one to invest your increasingly decreasing amount of time into? We're all slowly dying. Here's a reminder of that. There are hundreds of millions of books out there. I think. I don't really know how many books there are in the world. You can let me know. Time is of the essence. You can't just willy-nilly pick up a book and hope you're gonna enjoy it. You know what this is? This is the Eye of Argon. And it's terrible. That is called time waste me- Time wait, Wasting your time. And you don't want to do that. Before you say it, this video is not going to waste your time. This video is going to save you time. And time is life. I am saving lives here. If you know the correct procedure, if you know the right path to find the next book or series that you're going to enjoy, then it doesn't have to be hard. You can save precious moments of your puny, mortal life, and I will guide you in that. You can trust me, here's some testimonials from some professional readers who took my five-step process. I read a book once, and I approve this message. This man is a menace to our society and he should he should not be trusted. Step one, you need to pick a genre. This is important, okay? You don't want to mess this up. You're looking for fantasy and you accidentally pick up some erotica and it ends up being an entirely different fantasy than you were expecting. Why is there so many creative words for genitalia? Granny over here sees that you're reading a book and she wants to bond with you over your love for reading, so she glances over a few pages. And this is too ostentatious for grandma. Now her heart is fluttering. It's going too fast. This is an emergency. You need to call the ambulance. And this is your fault because you brought this book to grandma's house. This is why picking a genre is so important. So what are your options? Well, you have 14 different genres to choose from. In between, you got a ton of subgenres. Let's just say you picked a genre. Whoa, wait, you know what I'm thinking? Rewind, rewind all the way back to the beginning of this video. You are an alien, okay? This, this is you. This video is gonna be helpful to you because you're an alien. You don't know about genres. You just want to read what our human knowledge has gathered. You wanna know what creativity is capable of. Don't read this book, stay away. Where was I? Okay, green alien buddy, step two. You need to research your chosen genre. This is not difficult, nothing too fancy. You just pull up Google, not Bing, never Bing. Now you just type in best insert genre books. For me, I like fantasy books. I would type in best fantasy books. You like crime noir books or finance or Bob Saget or MK Ultra, whatever. That's what you type in. Now you'll find the top recommendations from your genre. You can stop at this step if you're not picky, but you're picky, okay? I see you picking, so we need to move on. Step three, make sure you follow along. Stop picking, Timmy. Now you need to find community. Don't be a loser. Find people that like that same genre that you chose, whether this be a Goodreads group or your uncle's sketchy Facebook page or a Discord server, which by the way, I'm gonna plug my Discord server because it is proven to be the best server. You'll find a lot of friendly people and recommendations on there, satisfaction guaranteed. Reddit is another great place to find recommendations. There's subgenres for pretty much everything in human existence. Another plug, there's even a captured in words Reddit. You can post things on there. You don't have to be afraid. It's very lonely at the moment when I'm the only one posting. And now I'm afraid I'm in a vacuum. Now you are connected to the hive mind of people interested in the same thing as you. From here, you can ask questions, as long as they're not stupid questions. Do you specifically love love triangles? Or you like a good depressing ending? You got people to ask about what tropes and plot points you like to see. And they already wasted their time looking for these books. You can now profit from their time wastement and choose the best of the best because they did the research for you. You are from outer space. You want to survive on this world? You're going to have to step on some toes to climb that ladder. And the toes are the people who did the research for you. This is the only way to survive on this world. Step four, choosing an author. You have gathered together into a giant spirit bomb, a ton of recommendations, and now you need to swipe left or right on which author you're interested in. Is this the perfect person for you? No, keep swiping. Keep swiping. Okay, you might consider choosing an author based on the picture in their book because we are vain and shallow people, but that is not what matters. 
And you're an extraterrestrial being. It's not the same. You shouldn't be shallow like us. You're not reading Brandon Sanderson's chiseled abs. Every author has their own unique writing style. Sometimes this can be very to the point and simple. Other times it can be very detailed or even flowery. Some may have a more casual tone while others are preparing for dinner with the queen. A more classical tone might introduce you to words that you've never ever seen before because you're just a sad little alien child whose entire species has died and you're left with Earth to educate you. Good luck! But you don't even know what writing style you like because you just learned how to read yesterday when you wormholed your way over to invade our galaxy. So now you do some research on some authors. Is their writing style generally loved? Is it controversial? Do they write in second person? Nobody wants to read second person. Don't do that. Now this leads me to step five. You need to read some reviews. You don't just go buying the book. You still need to afford my Patreon. Highest tier, obviously. Remember, I'm saving lives here. There's a lot of people that make purchases on a whim and I'm not gonna let that be you. So dang it, you better read some reviews. Sometimes you can even read a sample to see if it's a good fit for your weird little alien brain to wrap around. Reviews will give you insight on aspects of the book that you might not have gathered from the synopsis. Let's be honest, you might not even gather it after reading the book because you're not that smart. You need other people's opinions to decide for you if the book is good or not. You can read reviews on Goodreads, Amazon, and Audible if you like your books in ear format. Alternatively, you can head to youtube.com and type in captured in words and find recommendations and reviews on there. Or you can go to a different channel if you're an unloyal swine. That's it, that's all you have to do. You have chosen the genre. You've avoided sending grandma to the hospital. You've researched that genre. You found community with the hive mind so you can blend in and be another nobody. You have chosen an author to take on a date. You've even looked into reviews and read samples. Now you have found the next book to read and you didn't waste time by picking up random books that you thought sounded nice. You're not an animal. I don't know what you are, actually. Don't trust your own intuition. Don't have fun looking through bookstores and finding a favorite by accident. Rise from the ashes of those who wasted time and fell before you. Gather up their research and opinions so that you can decide what you like. And that little alien buddy is how you succeed and eventually take over humanity. I expect that you'll spare me. If my guidance somehow led you to vast prosperity and you want to help support the channel, you can you can leave a tip on this video by giving a super thanks. That is the button that is right below the video. It gives you a cool, colorful, customizable comment because people are shallow and we like colors. All of that helps out a ton. It's how I can afford a rocket chair, so thank you. Or if you want, you can become a patron over on my Patreon. I also have a Ko-Fi. There's multiple ways you can support the channel if you want to, but even just watching and dropping a comment, that helps out the channel as well.